Put your mic on, Sarah. Don't leave it draped over the computer. No one will be able to hear you. It's Monday. It's time for Monday stream. And I have no ideas. Um, but we have a we have a good we have a good smiling cat cam today. So that's something. Can, can I make a cat? Just give you a, a, a quick Take a view of that good, happy cat. In the sunlight. Just put you back in the corner there. <laughs> it is a good, sunny, warm day. Which means that the cat is happy. Happy in the window. And I don't know what I'm going to draw today. Um, this is kind of one of those sort of little little dead spots where I don't have any personal work happening or any ideas for anything. So I would usually just not do anything. <laughs> um, I'd usually just kind of let it, let it sit and like play video games or something. Um, but instead, I'm streaming. So, so we'll see. I feel like maybe the first thing we'll do is like, is like just, just ink this, uh, very specific Bob White from the previous stream we did. 
because it's just, it's the first thing in my... I could Stardew Valley. If you guys want me to Stardew Valley, I can set that up. We could we can Stardew Valley if you want. I have that power. We could go back to um to the dark lands of Stardew Valley. Where the monsters come out at night and there's definitely a cult in the back of the store. You know. A cult in the back of the store is, is a thing in Stardew Valley if you don't believe me. Um, play it sometime. Come friends with Pierre. Go into his house. I'm just saying. Ah, uh, Animal Crossing Island sharing. Well, let's let's. Let's start, let's, let's just quickly ink this and then see how I feel. Because I do, I do enjoy doing the voices for Dark Animal Crossing. Um, but I also kind of like to warn people if it's going to be, if it's going to be a, a game stream instead of an art stream. Um, in advance so that they can plan accordingly. Although we had just gotten our first chicken. Which we named... What do we name it? Henrietta, I believe, is what we named our, our, our one and only chicken. And we'd gotten a sword that wasn't made of wood, I think. So that's... We might, we might have survived. I need to find a Bob White picture. Quickly. Never mind that in a minute I'm going to have to find a Lanschnecht Lang picture. Henrietta, Henrietta is an excellent chicken name. I enjoy making chat name things. Um, I don't know. I don't know if chat enjoys it, but it is part of the most fun that I have when I stream. Is is demanding the chat name things I make. It's more fun than naming it myself. And of course it's how we got uh, Elizabeth, Batilda, and Bartholomew. So, you know, it's, it's clearly working. I did, I did try and figure out how I could stream Animal Crossing for you guys. Uh, and because I have a Switch Lite instead of a TV Switch, the answer is basically I can't. <laughs> so, alas, I can't super indulgently um, play, play Animal Crossing and call it, and call it work. It's really too bad. that would be perfect so that said what are we going to name this Bob White Landschnecht with a pole or with a pole arm is that what what is what a halbert a hal a halbert halbert uh, words medieval Weapon words. Hmm. 
Miraflora, that is exactly what happened to me. I had to give in to finding a light because the fear of missing out got so bad and there are just no Switch consoles anywhere. Bert, oh, Bert's a good name. Because Bob's too on the nose after all. Well, some of us did not think through this breastplate when we sketched this bird. Ah, oh, that's me. I'm, I'm some of us in this story. The some of us is me. Hello, Hannah. Um, this is a thing we drew before. I did not have any ideas. And while we discussed what to do and the possibility of maybe Stardew Valley, depending on what people wanted. I decided that I would ink this, uh, this very good Bob White. Oh no, this, this fully clothed quill was already done. It was drawn previously. Um, what stream was he from? Was he from the end of the, of the Ladies with Swords stream? That feels, no, I think, no, he was from the pottery stream. The pottery sketch stream. That's what he was from. Hello, Auntie Shepherd Quail. Yeah, we're inking the. Uh, I don't you. I don't know if you were here for the end of this, the pottery design stream where we just drew a. A, a, a Bob White. In a, Landschnecht garb. But that happened, and because I have no ideas today, right now I'm inking it. With the Mr. Natural brush. I didn't use the voice when I selected it, so there's your Mr. Natural voice. I don't know why I have one brush in a thousand that gets like a voice that has an accent associated with it. But it does. Oh, that's fair. Does he need a German name? Because he's a, a, a Landschnecht. And the music is, is, Bert works for German. Our, our craft, the German says, Bert works for German. Good. I am happy to share my ideas for things for you to draw, says Auntie Shepherd. Yeah, I mean, we're, it's, we had some votes for Stardew Valley, but then we had some votes for not Stardew Valley. And the votes for Stardew Valley were like, sure, if you want votes. So I feel like we might draw. Um, I feel like we might stick to the drawing. I, f I suspect I need to open... Did I, did I save, did I save any Landschnecht reference to the reference folder, I wonder? Nope, I don't think so. Because there's, uh... Because there's an armadillo. And a bat. That's, that's the... I have ideas that are neither quail nor sheep. <gasps> All right, let's let's re-Google the Wikipedia page for land. Glad I wrote it down for myself, so that I can remember how it's spelled. Ah, yes. So fancy, such outfits. just the best outfits. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I see. We've progressed. We've progressed to oxen. But what are the oxen doing? And don't say pulling something. <laughs> because I know. Be specific with fancy hats. <laughs> oh, protest. <laughs> Protesting oxen. Oh, goodness. Antifa oxen. Pulling down a statue of a slave trader, perhaps. And throwing it in the river. Oh, these sleeves are like weirdly complicated. They were so easy to sketch and get the idea across. In case you're curious, this is a common problem with art, is that something is easy to, uh, to approximate and then hard to like actually draw in detail. And it's like, oh, but everyone knows what this means, but now I have to actually draw it and it's all complicated. All medieval clothing where you're like, they are not in my story. Could they be in your story? Because music bot, you've gotten a little bit gotten a little bit um much. <laughs> Maybe we could tone it down with the next with the next track. Whether or not it's in my this medieval thing is in my graphic novel or not. It's fair. It's true. We all saw the statue trip. Oh, yes. Tripped. Tripped and fell in the lake river. It's, uh, it's a real shame. Statues should really be more careful. Beauty, beauty, but well, thanks, thanks, music pot. I could draw music pot. Oh dear. I mean, I don't know that music bot has a physical form. I think it's more of a fully digital AI intelligence. that needs more emotional support than it's getting. I feel as if I've made a mistake. Because I have. Okay, right, yes. I see what has happened. Just gonna Yes. There we go. A sad little robot with a stack of records. Oh. Uh, there's there's actually something really really amusing about this, which is that I used to be sort of known as the the person who drew robots. Um, I did a bunch of posters for um for the robo games around here and did a whole series of sort of um, social justice posters with robots as, as sort of the metaphor. They all complain no matter what I play. Yes. They're so hard to please. 
Um, we would get a bigger we would get a bigger track list if I paid monthly, um, but but the app crashes a lot <laughs> for something that would cost monthly money. Uh, just not convinced I'm prepared to pay a subscription for something that is that unreliable that I've had to like fully erase and reinstall once already. So I think we're just gonna settle for settle for the track list we have at the moment. Yeah, they're not they're, they're not that big a secret. I did they're on my website still, um, buried in the back. But yeah, I, I did I've showed I've showed Auntie Shepherd my robot posters, my my communist constructivist style robot posters. But yes, um, and I specifically I specifically don't use the word robot in them. I use I use um, automaton because in the in the world that I invented to surround them. The origin of robot is uh, sort of a protest word, but it's also sort of a a dark word. <laughs> Secret agent stake out. Okay. Okay, music bot. See what's happened. Sorry, I got really into these sleeves. I, uh, I apologize. I apologize for the for the length of time I just spent on puffy sleeves. I just, um, I got really excited about them. Music bot and inspector gadget outfit. This is why this is why I love my chat. Because I don't know what other people talk about in their streams chat, but we've invented an entire like personal story for the music bot that plays music in our stream. Just like a whole a whole thing. We've we've given it a personality. Yeah, um, Hannah, go to the uh, go to the Wikipedia entry for Landschnecht, which I have helpfully written here so I could remember how to spell it, um, and understand that in fact these are kind of toned down poofy sleeves. That they. Uh, They have more tears. Um, the the, uh, the the this this quail no this was this quail I'm pretty the landschnecht was was a was a suggestion who suggested landschnecht possibly my roommate suggested it. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know how 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 functional they are but if someone if someone charged into battle wearing them you'd certainly be intimidated I mean you'd, you'd definitely look at them and go well I'm underdressed for this for this combat scenario. Oh, there we are. <laughs> By shouting it loud enough, I convinced my roommate to log into chat and say I'd, I'd take the blame. Um. Uh. 
And then I think I put I put the link to Wikipedia in chat because I was like, no, you have to understand this is a real thing. <laughs> this is a real thing that really exists. I did not make this up. I did not invent these puppy sleeves. History invented these puppy sleeves. I'm impressed. I don't even know how to spell words that are in English. I, in fact, um, wrote it down on this page so that later I knew I could Google it again. Let's just say I did not do well in spelling bees. Hmm. All right, because that's the I'm trying to. I'm trying to parse Bob White's with their wings as arms. What their little under feathers look like there. Oh, did kitty cam? Did kitty cam turn in, turn in a circle? Ah, he would he would so he would so like pets. If I pet him now, though, he'll wake up, and if he wakes up from petting, he needs a hug because he assumes that's why you've woken him up, which I feel is, is fair, frankly. No, she can't, because he's behind my monitor in my window. <laughs> usually, usually he's there or in her lap though, so it feels, feels fair. He, he spends the majority of his life either in, in the window behind my computer or sitting on my roommate. Because he does not like sitting in my lap at the computer because the computer and the Cintiq are kind of in the way. All right, well, let's, let's pretend that I'm not avoiding drawing my feet and do this pull arm instead. Is this technically a pole arm? Am I using a word that is not as interchangeable as I think it is? Yes, I'm good at quail feet because I've drawn so many of them. But. What I should be drawing is more is more ladies with weapons because I was supposed to be remembering how to draw people so I could work on that on that thing, Auntie Shepherd. <laughs> you know, the thing. That uh the thing that there was this whole extra level of social change that interrupted our pandemic <laughs> and slowed everything down. Oh yes, oh the thing. The reason you keep asking for, <laughs> for a scruffy unicorn. I've thought a lot about the fancy bard's hair, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, we'll work on, we'll work on the thing. <laughs> 
Oh, hey, hey, everyone else in chat. Hope that you're enjoying this uh, private conversation that I'm having live with someone. It's fine. We're teasing you with, with the future. The future thing. You know, the thing. But but does the but does the fancy bard belong? Well, I guess the sleeves are really we're we're, we're already prepared for for fancy bards. <laughs> Secret, yes, secrets. It's fine. I mean, you know. And I've been arguing this whole time that I don't like doing character concept work live because then I might not like it. And will still feel committed to it. But, eh. But I don't think I'll f feel committed to it. I think I'm a stronger person than that. I think I have the power to tell you no. So. Music bot needs a nap. I mean, to be fair, that's better than it, than it sending us to a derelict space station or trying to kill us all. I'll take the nap. Let's see. What other what other fun fun things are going on in my life? Finished the frog. That was good. He's got little 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 slip trail dots now. So I'll see how those work out when he's dry. Yeah, this is a specific thing. It's like, uh, okay, this is how this happened. Someone wanted this weapon, which is hel a halberd. There's halberds and halberds, and they're too similarly spelled for my brain to parse them. Anyway, oh, yeah, thank you, Mirafora. Uh, and apparently they're like the uh, the 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 special extra weapon like their their land schnecks are known for them i guess <laughs> yes thank you thank you Mirafora, for i just it's i'm dyslexic so sometimes words are too close to each other and like my brain can't remember which one is which so it's like i'll know that one is a, one is a stabby axe and one is armor but i won't remember which <laughs> so Oh, uh, morning blankets. It's... It's like, no, really, it's nap time. Okay, feet. That's pretty much done. Gotta erase some things. Oh no, like, I, I just wanted to explain. No problem, Mirafora. I know that you weren't trying to be a pedant. I actually wanted to know which was which. I asked. Um, I just also wanted to explain why I have such a hard time sometimes parsing those two things. Because sometimes... Sometimes words start to lose their meaning and become confusing if you look at them for too long, for example. <laughs> oh, 
oh, I hate that, Auntie Shepherd, where you've lost a word and you're like, no, I know there's a word for this. It's right there. But I've lost it. Uh, our, our craft sailing in with some land schnecked information. They were known for the halberd and the zweihander. Um, a sword big enough that people actually got a certificate that they knew how to, how to use it, which I think is, is just the best thing. There's, the, they're just getting better and better. They're like, yes, yes, we're known for our very fancy sleeves and our very large swords. Oh dear, of course you are. Of course you're known for the size of your Zweihander. I will clean this up in a minute. I just wanna brush in some shadow depth here. Just to, oh, and then we need, nope, that needs to be smaller. We need to brush in our, our markings here. <laughs> Two and a half it. Uh, when your sword is is that big, you just take it off someone else. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, chat with the with the cutting off hands jokes. Good times. I would, my what a big what a big sword you have. Okay, just tidy up the edges here. See, this is why I say that I have such a good chat. I mean, I learn stuff. <laughs> Although, in fairness, I, I did actually know about about hand and a half swords or two two and a half hand so the the Zwei hunter. I already knew about the Zwei hunter, <laughs> which I think I'm pronouncing correct-ish. Um, although umlauts always always throw me a little. Oh, kitty. Oh, he's gone to his food bowl. He might come back. I'll leave I'll leave kitty cam on for the moment. In the hopes that he returns to the window. Although the sun the sun is behind a tree now, so it's not as it's not as warm. Alright. So that's a thing that we've done. <laughs> Finished uh Finished that, and it exists now, and has been saved. I'll just take a screenshot for later. All right, just close that. Back to our blank. Back to our blank canvas here. Grab myself a pencil tool.
A and Z and Z Zweihander is pronounced more like the E in Ben. So, so Zweihander. Okay. Zweihander. Zweihander. Hmm. Excellent. I sort of love languages and I wish I was better at learning them. Because just looking at the word, it's such a fun looking word. A visually appealing word. More like a sound. Zweihander? Zweihander. Just sorry, this is the stream now. <laughs> this is, the stream is me repeating the word Zweihander while Arcraft corrects my German. Um, that's just your future forever now. I'm sorry, because I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> the German language in general. Yay! Um, we're all learning. Let's learn. Let's learn German pronunciation. Zweihander. Good. Zweihander. Yes. Oh, uh, yay! I mean. English as a language doesn't really have have the standing to throw shade on anyone else's language. It's a confusing language. Although in fairness, we borrowed a fair amount of it from German. So there's that. Oh, let's see what what shall I know. Put this here. Just I'll just leave this here. For later. Oh, I put that on the background. That was a mistake. Well, we can fix that. Just someone said this before. Now it's happening. What brush? Smooth, fine inking. It's true, yes. I, I do, I do like the, uh, we need a new word to describe this thing. Let's just mash all the words that describe it together into a new word. That will be clearer than inventing a new word we'll have to explain to everyone. What are these furry things with wings? Why, flying mice, of course. I don't know why he has like an old satellite phone antenna, but that's what's happened. Shayana is serene, flying mice. Um, that's the, the German, the German word for bat, uh, is, is, is just flying mice squished together into a single word.
Later, boss. Little, little flying mice. No worries. The only reason that I, well, the reason that I know it, I don't know if it's the only reason, maybe I would have figured it out in some other way, but, um, but the classical music piece to Schleider Mouse is, is the reason that I know that, so. Welcome to language class on Monday stream. Where we listen to music and draw silly things and discuss the German language. Uh. Oh, that's a good call. Thank you, Figment's Main. This is just a blank thing, isn't it? Oh, we're just gonna uninspiredly call this Monday, June, whatever the date is today. The 8th. Yes, the 8th. <laughs> All saved. Has the cat come back? No, he's joined my roommate. He's abandoned. He's abandoned the window. So yes, don't worry. I have saved. Right, so, so there's that. I'll just put them up there in the corner. Just a nice little, nice little music bot. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just gonna lean into it. I need visual reference. We'll just we'll just leave this music bot on. There we go. Um, <laughs> we'll just leave him on while I look at uh, uh I will look for fancy bard reference in my reference folders. Let's see. Do I have any do I have any appropriate actors on standby? Some stock images of people holding coffee mugs. Some uh a whole series of Rita Hayworth photos for some reason. Hello, new people. We have been we've been raided. Um and I'm, yes, and I'm about to draw a fancy bard. 
Um, I've just so here's oh, we'll just we'll just do like a little a little prequel of my thought process here. So the thing I'm thinking is like like he needs to have like hilarious hair, like just like just this this like one sided swoop of of hair. that can just, like, bounce around, you know? Is kind of the thought. Um, I believe I've been, yes, I believe I've been threatened with a lute, is, is the instrument. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, who doesn't want to look at a whole folder of Rita Hayworth? It's fair. Um... So, I hope that, uh, so I hope that I can make that, that, the hair work. I don't know, this is, this is a, what kind of nose does he have? I don't know. I hadn't thought that far ahead. But fancy hair. I don't know why, but this hair's been in my head the whole time. Like this, this, <laughs> this long, curly, like side swoop. Um. Just the fanciest hair. And now I'm looking at. Just in general, like, actual photos of human people would be helpful. I mean, those Lion Decker paintings should be in the Lion Decker folder, not in the main reference folder. Nah, that's the wrong actor. Here we go. Here's some. Here's some. We got Keanu Reeves and uh, Richard Armitage and Robert Redford and Paul Newman here in a little series of photos. <laughs> For some reason. And. Uh, Dudes in Regency cravats. <laughs> yeah, such 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 fancy cravats. Ah, oh, Toby, what's his name? Stevens, Toby Stevens. Those are some good photos. We'll 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 pop up Toby Stevens as as some some potential reference. <laughs> just Google sexy loot player. Uh, you just want to know what happens. Now I want to know what happens too. Okay. Fine. But it's your fault. Sexy loot player. <laughs> Google does not know what to do with this.
Um, but I will share with you the paintings that it has decided count. Um, because, uh, Because I'm not going to lie, they definitely, definitely provided paintings of sexy loot players. Just not certain it's, uh, it's actually helpful. Let's see what we have here. Um, we have, uh, we have this, this one here. Sexy, sexy loot player. Very very fancy outfit. Nice loot. Look at the look at the carving there. <laughs> um, let's see what else did we get? Ah, here's another here's another sexy loot player provided by Google. Very good hat. Uh, I think that's actually a cello. So. Um, so they're wrong about it, but whatever. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, here's, here's another, this one, this one's actually a loot, which is helpful. This is very, uh. enthusiastic and has taken good care of his mustache And then, and then there is, there is, uh, this excellent loot player. Um. Who, you know. Doesn't entirely fit the brief, but. But I feel like of them, I'd rather have her at my party. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Um, so, it turns out that that's what happens when you Google, uh, when you Google sexy loot player, um, oh, also, um, also merchandise. There is, in fact, a mug that says, I hate being sexy, but I play the loot, so I can't help it. Which is, uh, oh, oh wait, oh wait, I found another one. I found another one that definitely deserves, that definitely deserves a viewing. Because of all of them. It might fit the brief the best. <laughs> Just, uh, this painting. This painting. <laughs> oh no, my shirt, it is just slipping. How could this have happened while I played the lute? <laughs> now my shoulder, it is bare. <laughs> oh, that pa oh, that painting. Oh my goodness. Also, like, I don't think that's how you play the lute. I don't, I think that you need to have your, I don't, hmm. Think that you need to have your hands on the on the fret to to have it play notes. I, mm, mm. Oh, look at that. <laughs> just ah, oh, such. So the cat's back. We'll just we'll just palate cleanser. <laughs> there, there, shut. Oh my goodness, this painting. This this. <laughs> 
uh it just just like and how how is that how, how is the how is that even happening like it's it's oh it's such a thing such such a thing that is happening and i sort of i sort of love it i sort of love it a little Right, just and like like someone s sitting there, someone be being told to look sexy. <laughs> it's like no, no, but but look sexy. Look, you know, like look at me like sexy while holding that loot. That's right, hold that loot. Oh dear. Let's see here. At least some of them are actually playing a loot, which at least helps me draw people holding a loot. Let's see. Oh, I don't let's see I've got what other photo let's okay let's let's close let's close let's close that forever um, we'll just have have these go away that will be nice okay maybe <laughs> like one of the French dudes with the loot yeah I don't mm, such a thing I've got a reference photo of, of Matt Bomer for some reason we'll open that Hmm. I have a whole folder called Regency. That's got to have more cravats in it. Painting of Emperor Josephine. Oh, paying of the Duke of Wellington. Self-portrait of an American neoclassical painter. He's kind of he's kind of got got a bit of the vibe going on. John Vanderlyn. Yeah, we were actually going medievalish. Um, uh, Eugene Delacroix self-portrait, one of my favorite pieces of art. Okay. We'll just that that's pretty much that's pretty much what the reference folder has to offer having fun yet you just, just watch the whole process now now you know why I usually plan <laughs> it's like oh look photos of Bob Dylan folder full of horses because of course there's a folder for horses Just, just the the best the best screenshot of of Joey Baby is Jaskier in there. <laughs> not 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 Jaskier fancy. Oh. Uh. I mean, oh, because we, I remember, this is, we, we pulled, we pulled some Russian, Russian and, and Eastern European folk costumes for this, if I recall, 
that's what these are about. Uh, speaking of fancy. I mean, Jessica is, is the, the best part of that show. Like, no one's arguing that point, surely. Surely no one's arguing that point. Okay, I feel like that's all of the useful things that I have. Let's... We've got so much, so much fancy, uh, much, much Jaskier love going on in the, uh, in the chat. Um. Joey Beatty is a treasure. This is this is a a, a true and and un unarguable statement. With which everyone must needs agree. Okay. Trying to arrange reference images of things, including Matt Bomer, Tom Hiddleston, the dude who plays Murdoch on Murdoch Mysteries, whose name I forget, uh, John Vanderlyn's self-portrait, and uh, one of these amazing <laughs> loot painting, loot player paintings. It's, uh, So yeah, I mean, we were already drawing a bard. It was it was sort of inevitable. The bard with the good hair. Um, let's see. So, as much as no one, as no one felt that the uh, first loot player was in fact sexy, uh, I thought the pose was actually the most fun. So, I think we might. We might kind of borrow that. Get kind of the face going this way. Looking over his shoulder. This is a terrible sketch, everyone. Please bear with me while I while I make it not that bad. Pretend that it's fine. And that I am a professional who knows what I'm doing. Which is, in fact, a true statement somehow. Okay. Loot. Loot, loot, loot. It's true. <laughs> now, yeah, we've, now, we've, now we've talked about, now we've talked about Jaskier for far longer than than was ever gonna happen otherwise. Also, the song gets stuck in my head still somehow, just like constantly, whenever it's brought up. Uh, music bot. Root bound. Sounds like it needs repotting. Okay. That up there. It's down there. And I guess you sort of play a loot here. Says says the paintings. Uh, 
unsure unsure of loot of loot best practice Yes, toss a, toss a coin to your toss a coin to your streamer. Oh, Valley of Plenty. Oh, look at that little look at that little anonymous ghost cheer. That's kind of adorable. All right, this is not how hands work on musical instruments. Oh man, drawing people playing musical instruments is hard. Okay, you know what, I take it back. The hand's not that bad now that I've put a sleeve on it. I feel slightly better about it. Oh, I feel worse about it again. <laughs> Let's let's try and, and make this make this body make sense, shall we? Sort of puffy sleeves going on, because of course. But foreshortening the bane of everyone's existence, foreshortening. So yeah, kind of like the kind of like that. <laughs> A real peekaboo says Shayana Serene. Oh, boo! <laughs> Ghost puns. Um, were we fancy? Did we say fancy hat? Were we? Were we? Were we convinced of the fancy? Cause okay, so like, cause the hair, right? I'm still I'm still stuck on the hair. Um, but then, but then fancy hat with like, a, wait, feathers in the hair, satin, feathers on the, feathers, feathers, no feathers, just a hat. There's <laughs> a cat. It is a live feed of my cat, Ramen Doodle, yes. I turned it back on. It was off for a while. I was off when you arrived because he had left. But he came back. So I so I turned the cat camera back on. So I think I think no feathers, the feathers aren't working for me. Um just like a, a brooch. And, uh, let's, let's go back to those, to those, <laughs> to those land-schnecked folk and get some, get some clothing ideas. Oh yeah, I forgot about the bare legs. Oh, oh, it's, it's so, it's so good and silly. I forgot about that image. I remember now. Right. That was the wrong thing to minimize. Come back. Come back, image search. Come back. I need I need silly costume ideas. Song, song of the land snake. There's a oh no, it's a YouTube video. Oh no, stop. No, copyright, copyright striking my Twitch channel. I just wanted to see the image. There's the image. So fancy. 
less bard of Ava and more 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 bard of of <laughs> of playing the lute in bars. It turns out. And I'll do like a whole series of outfits later. For right now, some floof. I have not read the Wheel of Time books, that's my confession for today. So that reference goes over my head, a thumb of the World of Time books. Um, now I feel like I might just be drawing Dandelion. It occurs to me that possibly... Possibly I've just accidentally started drawing dandelion. Which I think for it for for the moment is probably fine. You know what? He too gets puffy ribbon sleeves. <laughs> is what's gonna happen. I've I'm too I'm too excited about the uh, about the puffy the puffy ribbon sleeves to not use them a second time. Um, but in this case, they're a little bit more uh, more restrained. Just one level of puffy ribbon sleeves. Ah yes, for the people that missed that missed the uh, the whole conversation that Auntie Shep and I had in 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 live stream chat about our secret project. <laughs> I'm now I'm now just concept arting for a secret project. Is what's happened. Hi, they might be scientists. Welcome. Slashed sleeves are neat. So neat that I have started giving them to this character. Hmm. Sure. Good enough for at the moment. Tidying up a little bit. But then, okay, how does one clasp a, a, a dub? You know what, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to, uh, Ah uh, yes, I've closed. I've since closed the quail. Oh, also up in the. No, don't save that window. Yes, he does need a face. I'm <laughs> putting that off. That's the actual part where I have to design a character instead of just an outfit. That's the hard part. You know what? Lace cuffs because. Because, oh, so fancy. And then, I don't know, some embroidery here in the middle. It's to kind of go back to what we were talking about with the Russian and Eastern European stuff. And... See, I drew a face over here. 
just need to... Okay, what... What kind of face are we going for here? Ah yes, music, music bot is napping with my cat in the upper left. Uh, let's see. Dimples because, you know, because of course dimples. Oh, let's. Eh. Kind of a thin, a thinner face, I think. More of a more of a Tom Hiddleston face than a than a square face. That is not to scale. That is more to scale. Too many lines. You did, you did write me a whole character brief. That is fair. I drew a face over here. Just cross your eyes until they overlap. Yes, well. Eyes, eyes are like the bit that makes something come to life. You have to be careful. You have to be prepared for them. You can't just add them. You can't just add them early on and hope for the best. You have to be prepared. I'm trying not to have just a little cleft chin. I don't know why. Just for just for fun. Oh, let's see. Eyebrows. No. Kind of thin, small eyebrows, maybe. <laughs> Counterpoint, Po2 is all eyes and it's also terrible. You know? What can what can you what can you do? Po to I've I've made I've made the bard 
an Asian guy. Um, I don't know. That will stick, but... Possibly it's just that there's been too much news about K-pop. I don't know, but... Oops. If these things happen, I'm just gonna bring it up that way a little bit. Yeah. Ramen Doodle, I'm not sure what you wish to be made more rounder, but uh, of course Asian guys can be bards. Uh, I just, uh, I was announcing that because I had made that decision just then as I was drawing the eyes. I was like, you know what? You know what? He's... He's become... He's become Asian in this iteration. I did what, Auntie Shepard? Auntie Shepard is shouting in all caps. I pulled his face off and I'm not sure if uh, she's congratulating me for drawing a person or if she's mad about something. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like as, as I was like, he'll be Asian. And then I drew his face and I'm like, now I love him. Before he was boring, and now I love him. Also, uh, now that now that I've done this, I feel like I've actually I've met I've met the Japanese guy with this hair, and it all comes together. Did I move the face layer briefly? I mean, <laughs> ah, I have such power. Um, let's, I'm just gonna try and do some, there we go. Nope, that made it creepy. Don't know why. Just erase that. Put that back the way it was. Never mind. <laughs> oh. So then you're going to draw someone else and this bard is going to run off and elope and leave you heartbroken. I mean, he might... He might um, the first the first version of a character for something that's meant to be more than just sort of a single illustration is rarely the version that sticks, which is why I was hesitant to uh, to do sort of live concept sketching like this, where I'm like, I don't know, maybe he'll look like this. Um, because it's it's sort of a excessively iterative process. Um, oh, you know who else he looks like a little bit? Um, the 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 prince <laughs> Disney's Mulan. Ah, uh, I feel a little bit. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not.
Not sure how I feel about about Disney bleeding into things. Fancy cuffs. Draw an actual elbow this time. Won't that be fun? People get to have elbows. I don't know what this is in reference to that Ramen Doodle has posted in the chat, but it is definitely a quote about assassination. I assume it is from something. But I don't know what. So if anyone knows and would like to explain, feel free to enlighten me. Just, uh, probably I should be doing this in black instead of, ah, it's from Stormlight Archives. Okay. Just making hands better. Ah, you think this bard should wear white? As a traveling bard, that is a bold statement that involves a lot of a lot of laundry. Well, that's just all wrong. All the fingers wrong. <laughs> Good night, Auntie Shepherd. You are also great, and we love you. Let's well, that pinky finger is creepy and long. Let's fix it. Oops, not the whole image, just the hand, just gonna make that hand feel like it's the same size as the other hand. Because, you know, scale. Yeah, you're right, Ramen Doodle. It isn't easy being a fabulous bar in the Middle Ages. It's, uh... It's a lot of effort to dress this good. When the inn has one bathtub for everyone, and it costs extra. And by the time you get to it, it's cold. 
right. I'm gonna have to... make this arm an actual arm. Figure out how it goes underneath all of the... all of the finery. I feel like that's actually not right. Eh. I was gonna say we'll leave it, but we won't. I remembered that this is a computer and I have the tools to to just do what I want. Oh, oops. Oh, yeah, I guess. I guess that's... These are kind of more bent, but yeah, I guess this finger is actually... The shorter of the... <laughs> to be fair, slashed sleeves don't last that long anyway, so it's less laundry, more sourcing new clothes. Oh, Jack, you've turned and faced the kitty cam. That's so good of you. What a good, what a good, what a good camera cat you are. No, the thumb, the third, the third finger, the, it's the thumb and then four fingers. The third finger is, is, is the, th this is the third, this is the third finger. This is one, two, three, four, thumb. Is what I believed to have been what was said. Yes, the first, middle, ring, and pinky fingers. Was my understanding of, uh, of the request. Um, also, it makes sense, because when I looked at my hand, the middle finger is the longest, and the uh, ring finger is the same length as the first finger, or slightly shorter. So... So that was what I understood to be the yeah. anatomy. <laughs> People are hard to draw. That's why I started with a quail. <laughs> oh, but he's such a nice looking boy. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it... Wait, I'm just gonna put this over here because Auntie Shepard is gone and can't scream at me. Yeah, I think actually. I think actually this hand is pretty much right. There. Um, yeah, I think there are different conventions for, for talking about fingers. Oh yeah, I hold, I hold, the pencil rests on my middle finger and it's braced with my thumb and my first finger and the other fingers just, uh, just hang back <laughs> and let, and let them do the work. I'm just gonna 
add some details. Make it extra fancy. I'll just embroider a flower here. I mean, you know, not, not really, but I want to suggest that it's embroidery instead of just a drawn on detail. So I'm going to do it like that for now. Oh no, I have to draw a loot now. <laughs> I've gotten all the way to the part where there's a loot. But yeah, I think you can count fingers either way. I think you can go one for one thumb, one, two, three, four, five, or I've always gone thumb, one, two, three, and four. Um, don't know why. But for me, the first finger has always been the, the pointer finger, the, the finger next to the thumb. Yeah, the gemstones. Oh, I mean, they're they're probably fake. You know, costume jewelry. If you're a bard, you have to look the part, but you you can't really afford. Uh, I mean, unless unless you're unless you're you're being gifted fancy jewelry by someone, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm 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 pretty I'm pretty pleased with the hat, frankly. Um, I think I need a little band there. Um, I like that one side's hat, the other side's hair. Feels it feels fun. Oh right, loot strings. Notice how I how I faked that before. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on each side. Right? So fourteen. That's a lot of strings. I mean, he's got some embroidery and lace cuffs. Fancy, fancy and wealthy are not necessarily the same thing. Oh, our craft, now I am very hungry. <laughs> Our craft would like to derail the conversation to announce that our craft has made dates wrapped in bacon and they are delicious and they sound delicious and now I want one and if you could just mail me one quickly from Germany that would be perfect thank you <laughs> I'm sure that it will be fine when it arrives and not at all not at all off Oh, a, a loaf of yeasted egg bread. Fancy. A braided loaf of yeasted egg bread? Fancy. Meanwhile, I've eaten all the Cheez-Its, and although I said I was going to make blueberry muffins the other day, I never did. So... So I have, uh, have leftovers and two English muffins. Grocery day is tomorrow. So I want the dates. How many? I don't even know how many these I've drawn. Four and then five. Okay. Five. These are too close together and too small. And 
I don't know. We'll pretend it's foreshortening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven. Sure. Yeah, it's fine. Like shallow, but not so snooty. Oh no, we've we've become food chat again. I should I should make the blueberry muffins though. That is the thing that I should do. Before the blueberries start to go bad. Oh no. Chat started with the bacon wrap date puns. <laughs> and then this bit has to be like sort of a decorative carving. What what sort of you know what? Let's um hang on. Let's be extra gay. <laughs> Just gonna look up the uh, the uh, unicorn tapestries there. Just need a uh, need some reference images. Just the opportunity to be to be extra. I have not I have not had Asian dates. Um but now I want to find out the difference. Okay. One assumes that it is named in maybe Japanese. And just make sure that we make this just as extra as we can here. Oh, and then this, of course, has to be like a filigree coming out now that we've done that. That's or not a filigree, an inlay. Use your use your cabinetry craft words properly. Oh yes, it's 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 definitely a unicorn. Definitely a unicorn. Unicorn filigree in the body of the loot. And then a horn inlay. Because there's a whole unicorn thing. Also because then I could have an inlay horn. Where are we here? Is that 
straight lines, straight lines. Um, the real answer to those questions is copyright infringement. <laughs> Is this, I don't, uh, how many strings have I been drawn? You know what? I'm not going to count them. I've decided I don't care. Here's what I've decided. There could be as many strings as I want. Who's going to count them? Someone, I'm sure, but not me. What even there's the layers? A boar spear. It's true. Uh, she does have a spear. Um, they, they have a spear. Um, also a sword, um, which I, I, I sent them. <laughs> so my fault. The, the... Also because I like drawing unicorns. All right, which layers are which? There we go. So we've got, um, I'm just gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna select the right layer and then just make those lines not red anymore because that seems better. I mean, it was it was on a wish list. It was a sword. How am I? I mean, if I'm gonna give someone a gift and they're like, "I would like a sword," I'm gonna be the one that gives them a sword. Of course, of course I am. Because a sword is the best gift of all of all the gifts. Because yeah, swords make excellent gifts. Just gonna save that file. Um, close some reference. Oh, where are you going, Jack? What's up? Are you gonna walk in front? But there's stuff in the way. Hey, what's up? Bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. I'm having a conversation with my cat. Hope that's fine. He just gave me a look as he walked past. Jack Jack has the best beats. And little pink toe beans. Oh, well, he's gone he's gone for like third breakfast. And I'm going to touch up bits that I ignored before because I had a sketch under it. All right. There we go. <laughs> convo. Um, so <laughs> I am the sort of person that writes like text messages as whole sentences with capitalization and punctuation and stuff. Um, I have never used more like teenager text message abbreviations than I do trying to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> trying to type into that thing is so hard that like any time I can leave a letter out I will. Oh no, they might be scientists. Cat is being chaos. I should use the phone app, Mirafora. I should use the phone app for the typing. Oh, I love Animal Crossing. I like arranging things and building things.
Oh yeah, I grew up in. It's not. It's not. It's not an L. It's not an L. It's it's one three three seven. You've got to change all of the letters to numbers. There you go. So. It's just, uh, you know, back in, back in the olden days. And we all thought we were cool, and also that the government was reading our emails. Um, before we knew the government was reading our emails. Um, before we knew that it was Google that was reading our emails. We were... So, I'll just do a little retrospective here. We started with this quail. We did this Bob White. We did this Bob White Land Schnecht. Arcraft patiently taught me the proper way to say Spyhender. Um, chat patiently waited while that happened. Um, this is a halberd, which uh, chat also helpfully reminded me is the pointy axe, and halberd is the uh, chainmail, which was helpful. They might be scientists as mom in the 2000s. Don't give out your real info to anyone on the internet, mom now. I sold the couch on Facebook Messenger because, you know, there's a real person attached. Oh, it's so, it's so true. My Facebook is set to private because, uh, Eh, because I mostly use Twitter. Um, but, like, my real name is on Twitter, which is a thing about being an artist on the internet. You basically need to market yourself. So I need people to be able to find me and then pay me. So basically everything is under my real name. Yeah, I don't know. I've I've had an okay I've had an okay time with Craigslist, but but part of that is reading comprehension. Like there's a there's a way that people write fake things that's always interesting. <laughs> but they might be scientists. Told her mom that all of that all of told their mom that all of the internet their internet friends were from summer camp. Which is perfect. Oh, the internet. Speaking speaking of, of friends from the internet and the internet in general, um, they might be scientists. I have eaten all of the Australian candy. I felt like it would take longer somehow, but then there was a pandemic and I wasn't really allowed to leave or go to the grocery store more than once a week, so I've eaten all of the chocolate. Even even the second even the second terrible marshmallow s'more bar. It's all gone. And I'll never yeah, and I'll never be able to get more because Australia, as we've learned, is just is just a scam by the British. <laughs> oh dear. Australia, a real place that really exists. Um to 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 quickly to quickly explain the Australia joke to new people. They might be scientists. Told, oh, music bot quit. <laughs> um, they might be scientists. Told a story of friends who were stopped by someone who did not believe that Australia was a real place. That it was, in fact, a, a conspiracy by the British who were not sending prisoners there, but in fact, killing them. Um... Which blew my mind because Australia is provably real, as in you can go to it and it is there. You will land at an airport and exit onto a continent called Australia and it will be real. 
Uh, ramen doodle, this bot does not take song requests. Um, there is, I think, a bot I can add that will, but I suspect I also have to have the paid account. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, the app is unstable and crashes all the time, so I haven't paid for the a paid version. Yes, I'm sorry, I left out the most important part of They Might Be Scientists story, which is they were stopped by airport staff who did not believe Australia was a real place. Oh no, dial-up modems where your computer screamed in agony until until you jammed it into the internet. Yeah, that was that was good times back in the day. Um, so it is it is a little after seven. That's about the time we wrap up. Um, we didn't chat at the beginning for as long as I thought, so I think that we'll probably we'll probably kind of settle in and wrap up now rather than go much later. We've got ourselves uh, this this landschnecht quail, and uh, and sleepy music bot and a fancy bard. So I feel I feel like we we did something. I drew things, so that's good. Oh, good! It wasn't a TSA agent who didn't believe Australia. At least it wasn't a customs official who didn't believe Australia existed. Um. That would have been great. So this is this is what this is what has happened today. This is what we've drawn. I hope that you enjoyed it and had fun. It's a uh, sort of a casual Monday stream. I'll see you again on Friday for Friday tea time at three p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. A reminder that I have a Patreon that you can join at patreon.com slash Sarah with T. The link is below the Twitch thing, although they move stuff around, so maybe it's not below it. Maybe you have to click on information or about or something. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Sarah with T. Everything is Sarah with T. Sarah with T.com. Sarah with T on Twitter. Sarah with T on Instagram. So if you want to see more of that, um, that's how to do it. Be back on Friday for Friday Tea Time. We'll be doing more pottery. Thank you for being part of my chat. You are the best chat and I love you. Be safe. Have a good week. And I'll see you later. Bye.